all right guys welcome back so in today's tutorial we're gonna working on this 2d wireframe and we're gonna use generate some 2d high speed tool paths for milling operation so we're gonna use tool paths such as area mill dynamic mill and blend mill so let's get started let's make sure to watch this video till end to better understanding of each and every step so let's get started as usually we're gonna select our machine so go to machine go to mill default and then just simply set up our stock so click over here so go to enable these two options make it program number one and enable these all three options so click on stock setup all identities and over here you're gonna see our x and y are detected but z is not because it's 2d wireframe so we're gonna make a z to 3.5 so click ok and the red dotted box shows the stock is ready to machine so now we're gonna select our tool paths so for that go to tool path tab and first we're gonna use area mill so click on area mill tool path and for machining region strategy we're gonna use from outside so as we machining a core so go to from outside enable it and now you're gonna go to machine region so click on select machining region and now click on C plane and then click on outer rectangle so click OK and now we're gonna select our avoidance region for that we're gonna select click over here and then select our avoidance region where you don't want tool to go for that just simply click go to C plane and now click over here click next and select this chain click OK and from preview chains you're gonna see the red line shows where the tool gonna be rotate or machine the part so click OK and now simply go to tool and we're gonna select our tool so we're gonna use end mill and we're gonna click on end mill over here and make it equal to the size of end mill we're gonna use so for here we're gonna use 3 8 end mill so click on 3 by 8 enter it click ok and then we're gonna comment it over here in a make it area milli core so we are machining outside core so go to select library tool and then select our 3 8 flat end mill so now we're gonna go to cut parameters leave it just like that make our stock to zero stock stock on floors zero xy step forwards gonna be 45 percent keep tool down within 100 percent of tool diameter now go to depth cuts enable depth cuts make our rough step to 0.25 inches so now we're gonna select our transition and make it profile ramping leave it default as it is and then we just gonna go to linking parameters click over here enable clearance make it two inches make sure it's all absolute and make our depth to negative 0.75 so click ok now you're gonna see over here a tool path is generated so we're gonna double check it just simply go to tool paths select all and verify it simply click over here and you're gonna see over here our area mill is generated tool path so now next tool path gonna be we're gonna machining these two pockets using the same tool path so click over here again area mill this time so we're gonna use the pockets so we're gonna click on stay inside and select region click over here and then simply select these two chains there is a trick over here like that if you want to select the like chains which looks similar the shapes we can select simply one and then just it must come automatically detect the other chain I will show you over here just simply unselect all yes and then go to select this machine chain and then select over here 
you're gonna see the similar geometry is selected so click over here ok and now you can go to preview chains and you're gonna see over here these two pockets are ready to machine now we're gonna select our tool so go to over here to tool and this time we're gonna use end mill but this way we're gonna use the end mill of different size so which gonna be of 3 4th so click ok and then comment it area milling pockets and then here over here you can set up your speeds and feeds according to your material and then go to cut parameters make sure it's everything is zero everything should be remain default and then just simply go to depth cuts make sure it's enable and set up to 0.25 and then go to transition and then just simply leave this default everything and then go to linking parameters make sure your height is clearance is enabled everything is absolute and this time our depth gonna be of negative point two negative point seven five so click ok and you gonna see over here a tool path is generated so we gonna verify it simply go click on tool tool path verify it and you wanna see over here our two pockets are area mill so now we're gonna go to our third operation and which one are we we're gonna use this pocket but we're gonna using a dynamic mill so we're gonna click on dynamic dynamic mill over here and select our machine strategy stay inside like and then select our machine region to this one so click ok and then you can preview it says red it means we are tool gonna be inside this region so click ok and this time select our tool and this time we're gonna select the tool go to filter and we're gonna using our end mill of 3 8 click ok and then just simply comment it over here dynamic pocket then just simply go to cut parameters and over here just leave this everything default and make it step over to 15% and then make enable make this to 0 0 and then and then make sure to disable our depth cuts go to entry motions and for that we're gonna use customize entry motion so focus is over here so we're gonna go to select entry method click over here and use custom use entry chain so click over here to select the chain so select this chain okay okay click okay and now we're gonna make our z clearance to 0.5 our plane angle gonna be 2 degree so disable break breakthrough go to linking parameters and then just make sure it's all our absolute and make our depth to negative one inch so click ok and you can see over here our dynamic mill toolpath will generate it we just need to wait for a second and you can see over here our toolpath is generated and now we're gonna do verify it so for that just simply select all operations go to verify tab and then just see over here gonna see I'm gonna start to okay first operation which is area mill core second operation gonna be pocket and then this operation dynamic mill which we are using full length of its tool full flute length of tool 
so for now next step as you can see over here this is machined and click where is wireframe so you can see over here everything is looks pretty good and now we're gonna use our blend mill to mill this a reason so click over here click alt t to remove the tool paths so now so better view and so now we're gonna fourth step gonna be our blend mill so click over here and see blend mill and now we're gonna select two chains in the same direction which is very important in blend mill selection chain selection so first we're gonna select so you're gonna see our uh, this chain is selected and similarly way we're gonna select our second chain so this is gonna be our second chain so click ok and now go to tool we're gonna select our same end mill and this time we're gonna use our tool diameter of 3 fourth click ok and then in comment section we can say machine machine 0.25 using blend meal and then go to cut parameters make it zigzag stock to leave on floors and walls should be zero enable entry and exit command and make it to 0 0.5 0 0.5 and then make our compensation direction to left ok and then go to along and then go to depth cuts over here and we don't need to enable depth cuts we don't need to enable finish cuts just simply click over here to sorry we need to enable finish cuts and then keep as it is and then just simply go to lead in and out and make it enable and then go to adjust start and counter go to click on extent and make it value to 100% of tool length so copy that same so now go to breakthrough make sure it's disabled and go to linking parameters click ok over here make sure it's all absolute and then we're gonna make our depth to negative 0.25 click ok and then we're gonna verify it you're gonna see our toolpath is going to generate over here so now you can see our toolpath is completed so select all operations click on verify tab so now you're gonna see our all four steps together so i'm gonna make sure it's clearly visible so now click over here and you're gonna see our first step which is area mill the core and then our second step is gonna be two pockets which we did so blue color shows our two pockets which is area milled and then our third pocket gonna be milling so it's dynamic mill so you can see over here it's going by the shape we selected in custom chain method for the entry and then you're gonna see in the last our last step it's gonna be blend mill and over here you're gonna see our last step blend mill shows green color which is going along the chain we selected you can see if you watch this video till here thanks guys please make sure to hit like and if you are new here please do subscribe we have lots of videos like these models and stay connected thanks for watching see you in next video